so now we are into the second video and this one is called training principles intensity so we have to be able to define what intensity is so what is exercise intensity an exercise intensity refers to how much energy is used while exercising basically it's how hard is somebody trying when they are exercising or working out and how is intensity used with regard to sport and exercise so exercising at the right intensity will allow your body the best chance for the muscles to adapt to whatever goal you're trying to achieve. So if you are training with the right intensity, then you're more likely to stimulate muscular growth or increase muscular strength and endurance and power. Also using the right intensity is making sure that you're not going, you're not pushing yourself too much for too long, which can lead to overtraining like we discussed in the last video, or you're not, uh, or the other side of that is exercise intensity is good because it makes sure that you're actually pushing your body enough that it is going to have some changes to it. All right, now we gotta go talk about what the positive benefits of using intensity are while training. So one of the positive benefits that you get from using intensity while you're training, so this is, remember, you are kind of like you're pushing yourself. So you're trying to, you're working, you're working hard while you're in the weight room. One of the benefits of it is that with increased intensity will likely result in more calories burned. Another benefit of intensity or having higher intensity in your workouts is that it will help you lead or help you have greater weight loss. So basically the more calories that you're burning is going to help you with your weight loss goals if that's what you're looking for. Another benefit of using increased intensity is that it can help increase your cardiovascular health. So your cardiovascular system is basically like your heart and your lungs and basically when your heart pumps blood all the way through your body and helps you live your life. Training at higher intensity will help increase your cardiovascular health by making your heart more efficient and uh, stronger. And now we have to talk about what are the negative consequences of not using enough intensity. So this is, so just another way of saying this is you're not working out hard enough. And if you are not using enough intensity in your training, then it might not be challenging enough for your body to have to adapt to whatever it is you're doing. So if you're doing exercises and they're super, super easy, then chances are that you're probably not really stimulating your muscles and body enough for it to actually grow and adapt. And then the consequences of training with too much intensity, so training with too much effort and trying too hard is that if you're using increased intensity all the time you have greater chances of having increased muscle soreness that feeling that you get after a hard workout you're just sore all the time and the next consequence is increased risk of injury so what this means is that sometimes when people are trying to train really with great intensity they maybe they might start using weights that are not appropriate for their body to handle and or maybe they're exercising and because they're doing that then their form isn't quite as good which puts them at greater risk of injury so just making sure that you're not doing that and then the last consequence that i have is increased risk of burning out and overtraining so what i mean by burning out is when people first begin exercising and training and they feel really good and then after a while they hit a wall and then they just stop going. That is what I would call burning out. So increase with too much intensity, too much, too soon can lead to burning out where people just get, they don't want to exercise anymore after that. Or it can lead to overtraining, uh, which we discussed in the previous video before this. And the last question is, what is the rating of perceived exertion and describe what the numbers mean? So the rating of perceived exertion, which is also known as the RPE scale, is a one to 10 scale of how hard is somebody working while they are training or while they're exercising. So if they're at a one, that means that it's really, really light, easy work. They're not even really, uh, they don't even feel like they're doing much. And then on the other side of that, a 10, is 10 really vigorous, strenuous exercise. And like, I don't know how long I can do this for because it's just so hard. So this scale is dependent on the individual. So for example, what I might consider to be a six exercise intensity for me might be a 10 for my grandma, right? 
So you just gotta think about like this scale is very individual. So it depends on the person and how hard they feel that they're working at the time. And this can be used while you're training because if you just remember to keep yourself in that six to eight range, then that means that you're probably stimulating your body enough to have some muscular changes, but then you're not going so hard that you are putting yourself at risk of injury or burning out. 